What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for you guys and just to let you know it is Vlogmas Day 2 and before I get started with the festivities that we're going to be doing tonight there are a few things I need to get done with Pegasus right here and it has something to do with these things. So before I get started I'm just going to have to go to my buddy Mikey's house and pick up his jack because I still don't have one for this house and I'm going to need to stop and get some food because your boy is starving. So let's go ahead over here to old Peggy while wow, she's looking real nice and mean right now. And let's see just how aggressive a cold start on a cold day is with old Peggy. actually not there but he has this cool feature that he can remotely open his garage from wherever he is using his phone I believe so uh, let me call him right quick your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message yeah, what's wrong with him? Yeah. Call? What's wrong with him? and there you have it the garage is opening. I couldn't take my camera out fast enough, but this thing was all in the road. What you doing now? What you doing? Okay, so I decided to stop at Mickey D's just because, not to save money or anything, but to save time. And I actually didn't end up saving time, but I stopped there because of this. These things are the GOAT. If y'all don't know, then the Caramel Frappe, I definitely recommend their the best in industry if you ask me sorry starbucks and just to save time like i said i got this and so i might as well eat there too i got three ranch grilled chicken snack wraps because they're also pretty good and so now i'm about to eat this and then i'll get started on what i have to do all right y'all so my brake pads were squealing for the past i don't know like few weeks or so and i've been meaning to change out these pads but i'm just getting around to it the first things first in order to change out these pads, you're gonna wanna jack up the car, take the wheel off. I didn't show you guys that I did that, but as you can see, I did that already. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is locate this little pin right here. And what you're gonna wanna do is push it forward as much as it can. And that's gonna free up these other little washers on the other side. And then you're gonna wanna get those off of there. This is what one of them looks like. And all you have to do, as you can see, it goes around the bolt. And all you have to do is like slide it off of the bolt. And then this one will come out also. They're on top of each other. It's a pretty simple thing to do, even though it's not focusing on my hand. Then once those are off, you should be able to just tap this out and pull it straight on out. And that should free up the caliper to where you could get the caliper off without taking the rest of the bracket off. But make sure you don't drop it because it is still connected to the brake line. All right. Okay, so now the only thing that are holding the pads in is this. And all I'm gonna do is use something to punch these out and it should come right on out. And for the other side that's pressed up against the piston, uh, you can't use that method to punch it out. So I'm just gonna use my breaker bar and stick it into this little groove right here in the middle of them and just push with some force and it should come out. Oh. 
like so. Look at the difference between a new pad and a used pad. I mean, look. This one is so much more thick than this one is. And I'm just glad that I caught this before it actually stopped breaking at all. But yeah, I'm glad I uh, changed these out. One last thing you need to make sure you do before you assemble everything back together is compress these pistons back. Because the pistons tend to stick out more whenever you use more brake wear because they're thinner and you're gonna need to compress them back down so the new brake pads will fit. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna use this C-clamp and put the big part of the clamp on this side and then the part that you twist um, through here and it should compress back down. All right, so I got the car back jacked down. I did the other side off camera just because it takes too long to record and do them at the same time. But I got the new brake pads installed. And oh man, I need to paint these or something. If you have any color suggestions for the brake calipers, then let me know in the comment section below because I am willing to do those pretty soon. But yeah, now it's time for me to go and test out the brakes before I do any spirited driving and then we're gonna head out and have some fun.